Hello, everyone. My name is Qi Qi Lai. I am very happy to give the presentation for a paper, Almost Tight Security in Lattice with Polynomial Modeling. This is a joint work with Feng Hao and Zhe Dong, and was done when I visited FAU. The reduction framework is a powerful tool to uh, analyze security of a crypto construction by relating uh, its security to some suitable hard problem. This framework can be described roughly as follows. Assume there exists a uh, TA epsilon A adversary A that break crypto construction. Then we can construct a TB epsilon B reduction algorithm uh, that use A as sub, sub, subroutine and solves the underlying hard problem. To evaluate how tight the security of the crypto scheme is with respect to the hardness of the underlying problem, we establish anal analysis of bound in the form uh, epsilon B is larger than epsilon A divided theta, and uh, T B is smaller than K, uh, T A plus small o T A. And then use K times theta as a measure of tightness. In particular, the crypto scheme is considered to be tight if K theta equals constant. Um, almost tight if K theta equals a small um, polynomial of the security parameter, which is independent of the adversary. If K theta, theta uh, depends on the adversary, for example, K theta equals Q times polynomial uh, lambda, where Q is the number of queries conducted by the adversary. Achieving tight security is a meaningful task particularly when one can prove the same or perhaps slightly less efficient scheme has a tight reduction than a non-tight one. From a theoretical point of view, uh, tightness means that the security of a crypto scheme is extremely closely related to hardness of the underlying hard problem. This is the optimal case we can expect from the Provable security theory. In practice, by knowing the almost tight relation, we will know how aggressively we can set the security parameter, which is important for practical efficiency. This subject has drawn a large attention. Uh, we have known uh, how to construct almost tight PRF, IBE, PKE, signature, and so on from DDH or factory. Uh, where research in this line is active, most results uh, were with, with respect to assumptions on groups or factoring. For other important or uh, post-quantum assumptions such as lattices, only a few results are known even for almost tight security. For symmetric key primitive, there are only several almost tight PRF from LWE. For public key primitives, Boy and Lee constructed the first almost tight IBE based on LWE. Then Boy and Lee and uh, Libert et al. constructed almost tight or but many loss capital functions from LWE. Even with thus excellent advances, however, we notice a common drawback in all prior almost tight lattice-based results. They all require super polynomial moduli. From above all, we notice that for the tight security in lattice, some work uh, are essential almost tight but uh, with super polynomial moduli. 
Other work can work with the polynomial modeling, but just have non-tight security. In fact, either super polynomial modulus or non-tight security will result in much larger dimension n. This is clearly a negative factor for efficiency. Therefore, we ask, uh, is super polynomial cure is inherent for achieving tight security? In this work, we answer this question in a positive way for the following important primitives, PRF, IBE, and about many loss trapped functions. In particular, we construct and prove almost tight security of all those primitives from LWE with polynomial modeling. Now, let us first focus on the first part of our paper, PRF. Basically, PRF is a family of deterministic functions such that even given adaptively uh, black box um, query, a polynomial time adversary cannot distinguish it from real uh, random functions. Of course, PRF is quite significant. Uh, and has many applications such as efficient encryption, identification, um, authentication, and so on. Next, let us recall some prior work on PRF. The first type of PRF is a heuristic construction, for instance, for instance AES which is widely deployed in practice. However, they don't have rigorous um, security argument. In order to establish formal proof for PRF, GGM and NR95 constructed PRF from more fundamental primitives such as PRG and synthesizer, which can be instantiated based on group and factoring assumptions. Then, with the consideration of post-quantum security, many excellent PRF, such as synthesizer-based, direct, uh, tree-based, key homomorphic constructions have been uh, proposed. Here, we want to especially mention a concurrent and independent work by Sam Kim in EuroCrypto. Uh, to th uh, 2020, which also achieves almost tight circle PRF from LWE with polynomial modulus, but this construction seems to be sequential inherently. Now, the state of art is that, on the one hand, GGM-based construction has polynomial modulus, but is not uh, non-tight security, and uh, uh, inherent sequential. On the other hand, non-GGM based construction is almost tight and has low depth circuit, but its uh, modulus is super polynomial um, for some for some Kim's work uh, it has um, polynomial modulus almost tight, but uh, its circuit is just included in NC2. Therefore, we see it does not have perfect low depth. Thus, we would like to obtain PRF with polynomial modulus, almost tight security, and post-quantum security. And we focus uh, all focus in this part is how to achieve uh, that desired properties from a GGM-based PRF. Next, let us uh, recall the GGM-based PRF. This is uh, its uh, construction from double-length PRG. Generally, the well-known GGM-based PRF is proved from uh, uh, LWE to PRG to QPRG to PRF, where Q is the query times conducted by the adversary. Here, we use QPRG to indicate that 
all Q outputs of PRG are indistinguishable from uniform, as we always need to use hybrid argument to prove PRG to QPR, Q, QPRG. The reduction loss Q seems to be inherent. In this paper, we adopt a novel approach from LWE to NLWE to QLWR to PRF. Here, we managed to uh, eliminate the reduction loss Q from uh, NLWE to QLWR. More formally, uh, LWR stated that given matrix A, the rounding of a vector S times matrix A is indistinguishability from the true random vector U. Then uh, it is natural for us to get QLWR uh, multi-secret LWR. Uh, this means the rounding of multi-vectors times matrix A is also in distinguishability from the true uniform. Hence, we can use QLWR to represent QPRG. And furthermore, we consider how to eliminate Q in the security loss of QLWR from LWE. In order to, in order to clarify our technique uh, details more naturally, let us first recall the proof of, of LWR by Elvin et al. Given a matrix consisting of uh, column, column a1, A2 to AM. The first step is to break matrix A into matrix A prime and vector A, and then switch A prime into lossy matrix A prime prime. Then the second step is to prove this approximate approximate through uh, using a random, randomness extractor. The third step is to switch A prime prime back to uh, A prime. Then we repeat the above three steps for each column of A, and finally switch each uh, column of A into uniform. Then let us an, uh, analyze the reduction laws in this process. Basically, the first step leads to epsilon security loss. The second step is um, uh, statistically close, and the third step leads to epsilon security loss. As a result, the overall security loss is um, two times epsilon plus two. Uh, 2 to negative n times m. Then we look how to eliminate the dependency on Q in the security proof of QLWR. In contrast to original proof of uh, Elvin et al., we just replace a single vector with a block source uh, S1 to SQ. Due to Q is related to statistical indistinguishability, the overall, uh, overall uh, security loss is still 2 times epsilon plus 2 to negative n times m, which is independent of Q. This essentially implies the almost tight security, but the security loss still skew up with the parameter m due to the hybrid argument. Next, we focus on how to remove the dependency on M. We observe that the bar proof is that of switching only one column each round. It's natural approach to try to switch many more columns each round. Clearly, uh, in this way, we can eliminate the dependency on parameter M. Putting things together, uh, we get NLWE to PRF with reduction loss T, 
where key is the uh, reduction uh, input length of PRF. Furthermore, through applying a domain extension by doting, uh, we achieve NLWE to PRF with reduction loss small omega uh, log key. Uh, after until now, we have finished the presentation on PRF. Next, we focus on the uh, part to get IBE with uh, standard model, almost uh, adaptive security, almost tight security, um, post quantum and uh, polynomial modulus. Similarly, in order to clarify our technique uh, more naturally, let us uh, first recall uh, the almost tight IBE by Boyne Lee, which is the only one adaptive uh, IBE with almost uh, security from lattice in the st standard model, but uh, its modulus is super polynomial. First, uh, we recall the uh, standard up alg algorithm. It first uh, run a trap gene algorithm to get uh, matrix A and E trapdoor TA, and then select random matrices A0, A1, uh, random PRF key matrices B1 to BK, random PRF input matrices C0, C1. Next, select a random vector U. Uh, furthermore, select a circle PRF and select a PRF key from K bit. Finally, output uh, master public key and master secret key. The, then, for a KGN algorithm um, with ID from T bit as input, uh, compute um, PRF over ID to get a, a B, one bit B. Compute matrix uh, A uh, from um, public homomorphic evaluation of uh, uh, C PRF over uh, matrix BI and matrix uh, CXI. A set um, matrix FID 1 minus B in the following way. Finally, run uh, sample left sam uh, algorithm to sample vector DID such that um, uh, matrix FID 1 minus B times DID equal uh, vector U. For encryption algorithm, with ID uh, in a T bit string as the input, compute um, uh, matrix A uh, as um, the public homomorphic evolution of uh, CPRF over matrix BI and uh, CXI. Uh, start um, matrix FID B. Uh, in this way for b equals uh, 0 and 1. And then use the dual uh, regive twice uh, for encryption. Then, through analyzing the above Boyle IBE, we know the core tor of almost tight IBE is a homomorphic computation of a circle IBE, of a circle PRF. And we know uh, a black box uh, framework, ABE plus an uh, almost tight PRF with the polynomial modulus will imply the desired IBE. Next, we consider which PRF works for this uh, black box construction. Clearly, the existing almost tight PRF with the po uh, super polynomial uh, not work here. And uh, how about all new results on GGM-based construction and Kim's concurrent work? Unfortunately, um, both two work are still not in NC1. Thus, um, they cannot be directly used to obtain the desired IBE. However, we have an important observation. Uh, it is not necessary to use PRF in NC1. In other words, it uh, suffices 
to have almost a tight PRF that are computable in poly size circuit. Generally, a new idea is to use um, uh, bootstrapping and uh, PR and FEG. More detailedly, we set uh, MPK uh, as um, matrix A, matrix um, B1 to BL, and the matrix uh, C equals um, the FEG encryption of uh, um, PRF secret key. key. And, uh, um, matrix um, BI equals um, G, uh, GSW encryption of uh, uh, FEG secret key and uh, the homomorphic computation of PRF is conducted as uh, um, the two steps. First, use the FEG scheme to compute the PRF circuit and then use the bootstrapping method switch it back to the required GSW server text. Hence, we can we just need the decryption circuit of the used FEG scheme is NC1. Then, beyond IBE, using the similar idea to about many loss travel functions and the signature uh, will result in almost tight security too. Thank you. Thank you.